evening, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to May Green Monday. Uh, uh, welcome to all of you here in the, uh, in the hall this evening, live, uh, to the Green Monday diaspora in the cyberspace and uh, virtual wherever you are, and, and, to, uh, and to those on Twitter, uh, hashtag GMTrans for this, for this evening. So thank you all for coming, and uh, thank you also to, to our sponsors. Uh, we really appreciate about 15 sponsors supporting tonight, not just the uh, enhancing the conversation, but actually really making it possible for us to put the, put the event on. Uh, now, some of you who are regulars and, and others who have good eyesight will notice that I'm not Jim Woods. Uh, Jim, but rest assured, Jim is very much with us. Jim is going to play a, there he is, waving his hand. Uh, Jim is going to play the role of strategist tonight. He's such a clever bloke that he thinks he can do more than just stand here and do the introductions. So he's going to be sitting on the panel, uh, engaging with the panel this evening and, and dealing with questions. Uh, and we'll, we'll see, you tell us in the feedback um, on your FIFO feedback at the end of the session how you, how you find the evening works. But he's going, he's going to do that. I'm David Butter. I'm going to be uh, chairing the, the session tonight. Um, I have a degree in science and technology. Uh, actually, I don't. That's the Yahoo fellow. Do you remember? Uh, today, he's just been shown not to be transparent because uh, he said he had a degree which he didn't have. Uh, but what I do do is run sessions on, on co-creation with businesses and companies like, like yourselves. So uh, do have some credence to be here. But tonight is about the T word, transparency. And it's been quite an interesting week for transparency, actually. Um, I, I uh, remember, you know this fellow here? I think even at the back, one would recognize who this fellow is, right? Boris. Um, you can't read what it says here, but it says Boris's four priorities for London. And it was quite interesting. You can sort of guess what many of them are, probably. The first one begins with T, and it's transport, right? The second one begins with E. Education. The third one begins with P, policing. And the fourth one begin, uh, begins with T as well. Yes, transparency. Mr. Johnson will publish rolling data on knife crime, housing, tube delays to give Londoners a much clearer sense of what's happening in the city. He wants to let the daylight in. Well, Boris said that. There's another fellow here who's not so visible from a distance, a man called uh, Richard Lansley. NHS reforms, who says it's essential we... Uh, yes, I like transparency, he says, but we have to retain a safe space where officials can hold the data for 30 years, my interpretation. So uh, which one of these two uh, is going to inherit the earth or, or the Conservative Party? Well, that's perhaps uh, you know, a subject for, for conversation tonight. Um, in fact, t uh, today on, on the radio, I heard a spokesman for J.P. Morgan... Uh, who've had a spot of... I mean, it's beginning to feel like, uh, uh, feel like that start the week thing, isn't it? With, uh, what's the name of the lady who, who does these comedy shows? But you know, there's a fellow from J.P. Morgan who said on the radio this morning, disclosure without impairing our position is what we believe in. Well, I'm not sure if, that's, if that kind of adds up. Isn't it a bit like sort of uh, running focus groups with two-way mirrors where we can see you but you can't see us? So, a lot to think about tonight, but we, I'm banging on about transparency here, but you might be saying, well, hang on, this is a sustainability uh, organization. Hands up those who have the word sustainability on their business card or in their job description or deliverables. Hand up those who've got sustainability, the S word. Okay, most people. Hands up those who've got T, transparency, on their card or certainly in their job description, in their deliverables, in what they do for a living. How many hands? A lot, a lot less, but a few. So one of the things we're going to be doing tonight is seeing, is that actually, should there be more hands on, you know, up for transparency? Is this something uh, that is important? And we'll be looking at it from a regulatory, regulatory mandatory side, but also a voluntary side. And a voluntary side, reactive, but also proactive and particularly proactive. We're going to be hearing from our speakers on this. Um, 
I, I, since you're very good at putting your hands up and uh, to show you're awake, I, I'll ask you two more questions. These are the questions, really, that I think we want to answer as a team tonight. Do you think, do you think that we are entering an era of greater transparency? Hands up. Good. Good. That's glad you've come to the right meeting. Okay. Let me ask then the second question. Do you think that that has profound issues for sustainability? Does the era of transparency have profound issues for sustainability? Hands up. Okay. Very, I would say that's probably two-thirds of people. So we'll see if it, if it goes up after that. Okay, so that's our subject for tonight. The format is, 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 uh, is, is similar as before. We have um, a keynote speaker, actually, who's going to speak, I'll introduce in a moment, uh, for 12, 15 minutes. And then we're going to have a panel uh, with Jim uh, and three more speakers who will speak briefly. And then it's over to us uh, to, uh, for the Q&A. Uh, live microphones will be handed around. Uh, just introduce yourselves uh, and, and who you are and speak. And, uh, and by, by all means, you know, communicate on Twitter. Jim and I, since we can now multitask between us, it was too much for one of us to do this, so we're going to multitask and, and, and be able to read the Twitter feed at the same time. So speakers till 7.30, roundtables, um, and you've, got, you've all selected your roundtables. Many of you have been here before, but I'm just repeating for those who haven't. Uh, 15 roundtables, which will meet from 7.30 to 8.15. Uh, your list is at the back if you haven't checked in, and if you haven't assigned one, well, find a place with a spare chair. And then it's to the bar uh, for a bit of networking and a, and a couple of beers. So that's this evening. Is everybody comfortable there in the right place? Because I'd like to now introduce our first speaker, uh, Kate Robertson. Uh, Kate is, has an extremely interesting CV because on the one hand, she is the chairman of one of the five uh, largest agency groups in the world, or, or the largest company in it, Euro RSCG, uh, Marketing Communications, part of Havas, uh, and uh, where she's worked for, for many years. But what is really interesting is the other dimension uh, of Kate, which we're also going to be hearing a lot about this evening. Uh, Kate, who grew up in apartheid South Africa, uh, has made it part of her life, really, to, to work on global connectivity uh, and transparency. And uh, she was the originator of uh, One Young World, which many of you know uh, has made a huge contribution uh, to, to, to many people uh, beyond, beyond, beyond this room and, and, and around the world. So can we have a, a round of applause for Kate Robertson? Thank you. 